Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a new progress video on my main account. It's going to be just one of the old uh, rambly types uh, where I'm just going to talk about what I've been working on for the past few months because I haven't done any kind of progress videos on my main account in a while and I've been doing some various skilling and uh, just gaining XP in general, so it's been going pretty well. Um, I guess my last my last like actual progress video was just like the first week or so after two enroll mining, I think. And since then, I've gone back and forth between a few different things. Uh, I was, well, I, I finished my 20 mil all skills. That was one thing that I wanted to work on. I got all those done. didn't take too long. Um, and I was thinking I might go for higher runecrafting XP. And after I got it to 20 mil, I just wasn't feeling that motivated for it, or I was feeling more motivated to do Brimhaven Agility. And so I did Brimhaven Agility for a while, about, I think about a month of just straight agility pretty much, and, and a little bit of fishing here, and I did some fishing too. But yeah, I'm at 28 mil agility XP, and I have almost 18k uh, arena tickets banked, which is like 11.5 mil XP once I turn those in, so I'm like just shy of 40 mil agility uh, if I turn those tickets in, so that's pretty decent. Um, I was doing that while ranging on my ultimate Iron Man for a while, and those two worked together pretty nicely when I was AFKing anyways. Um, oh yeah, and fishing I did only like 80 to 100 hours or so, but yeah, I got that up to 28 mil, and I sometimes fish here and there too. It's a skill that I really enjoy, so I'd like to definitely do more of it in the future. Um, so I got that up to, yeah, 28 mil, and uh, fishing and agility are at pretty similar numbers right now. And once I got close to 99 range on my ultimate, I decided I wanted to start prayer flicking, and so I did that for the last like week and a half, and... While I was prayer flicking range, I decided to just do something very AFK, so I camped in Nightmare Zone using that method that I was sh I showed in a video a few weeks ago with the poison crombons and stuff. And I gained like 17 mil strength XP uh, in about a week and a half, got up to 44.9 mil, so that's decent. I'm still gaining pretty good HP, and it's one of the most AFK things you can do. Um, I have started university again, uh, so I don't have quite as much time to play. I started last week. So I probably will be doing a bit more Nightmare Zone, uh, even an even more AFK method, uh, where you can do like 20 minutes at a time for I don't know, probably like 80k or so XP an hour, I haven't exactly checked, but somewhere around there. And I'm probably mostly going to be doing attack, just because I don't have a bludgeon, and it's not actually efficient to train controlled with a whip anymore, because you can get really high defense XP rates using chins and barraging and stuff, so it's better to only train uh, attack and strength through Nightmare Zone and leave your defense XP for other things. So yeah, I've, I kind of sold off like everything to afford bars. I'll, yeah, I'm doing smithing right now, obviously. Um, so I just have a whip, so that I'm using that for doing some attack in Nightmare Zone whenever I need to be very AFK working on other things in real life. So yeah, I'm now working on smithing. As you can see, I'm making rune items and I'm at 66.5 mil smithing XP. So I was at 35 mil when I finished mining. So I've done like 30 mil or so XP since then. Um, and I think I'm gonna take smithing right to 200 mil. It's gonna take about two or so months longer. I should get it sometime in November, I think. Probably by the end of November, at least would be a decent goal. Um, the reason I'm doing smithing is kind of out of the blue, but it, it's the appeal of like the mining and smithing both being at 200 mil is kind of cool, and the fact that I've already done mining means that I can take smithing straight to 200 mil and it still be efficient since I've already gotten the bonus XP from the smoldering stones for mining. So that will be nice, um, and just, you know, like the the combo skills are kind of cool. But the real reason I'm doing smithing is more so because I can focus on my ultimate Iron Man, which is something that I've been playing a fair amount as well. And I'm now doing um, I'm doing smithing on my ultimate Iron Man also, and I might have a video on that kind of soon, we'll see. But I'm still you know, a few months away from 89 smithing on that account, which is my current goal. And those two, 200 mil on my main and 89 on my ultimate, will take a pretty similar amount of time. Uh, hours wise because then the ultimate is only like 6k an hour and on my main it's like 200k an hour and yeah w what I'm doing right now isn't the most time efficient I could be doing blast furnace gold and getting like, over 300k an hour but I decided to do rune because it's a lot less costly and it's much more afk uh, I wouldn't be able to do gold smithing while playing my ultimate and I yeah I just enjoy doing rune items it's pretty chill and it's nice to be bringing in a little bit of money um, Prices have been pretty bad lately, but I think that once the Blast Furnace update comes out, it'll probably drop the price of rune bars and it will be better again. But yeah, I've, I've always enjoyed the rune smithing, so I'm probably going to stick with that for 200 mil. So as of now, I'm like 133 mil XP away, something like that. 
which uh, at 200k an hour is around 660 hours. And on my ultimate, I'm probably about the same amount of hours away from 89. Let me see how much smithing XP I could get on my ultimate at the time. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like within less than a week apart that I'm going to get both of the smithing golds on both of my accounts, and it should be end of November for both. And um, I think I should be able to stick with this. It shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I sometimes get a little bit bored because it is... Even playing both of these accounts at once is still a lot less APM than like what I'm used to with mining that I did for so long and stuff, but it's pretty relaxing and I think it would be a nice pace to go for for at least a few months. I wouldn't want to really do it for a very long term, but it's, it's kind of nice to do for now. And once I'm done with smithing on both accounts, I will be on my ultimate moving on to melee training since I'll have the rune scimitar. And I'm going to see if I can do fishing while doing melee training. Fishing is very click intensive and uh, it's kind of just like a little bit more relaxed version of mining, which is something that I really like. And I would I would definitely enjoy doing fishing to 200 mil, so maybe I'll start fishing at like the beginning of next year and have another like six month 200 mil for 2017. Uh, we'll see, I'm not positive. But I also really enjoy doing Brimhaven agility and I'd definitely like to continue that. But yeah, I can't get agility all the way to 200 mil until I can get fishing all the way to 200 mil since you get the bonus XP in fishing. But I, I, my plan for agility, if I take it all the way to 200 mil, is to uh, store enough tickets to get a 100 mil uh, stored XP agility record, which I could turn in in probably like 10 minutes or less. Um, so that would be pretty cool. It would definitely be an interesting record. And Brimhaven agility is a little bit more efficient than Ardoin, so it would save me some time as well. I know that Jebram is considering doing his last 100 mil agility on old school uh, to finish the one bill doing Brimhaven, so... I kind of also have a reason to wait, because maybe uh, if I wait a little bit longer, we might be able to do it at the same time, which would be a little bit more fun, because it is almost always empty at Brimhaven, and it would be it's definitely more fun with other people, because you can kind of race each other and have somebody to talk to and stuff like that. I did also do Winter Todd on release of it, and I made a video showing loot from 100 kills, and I'm now at like 205 kills, and I did finish the Pyromancer outfit. I was at... Uh, I, got this, I got the hood at like 100 and... Uh, I think it was like 130 something and then I was at 200 kills and I still only had the hood and the top and I was starting to get pretty tired of it and then five kills later I had both of the other two pieces which was amazing and I also got the uh, Phoenix pet at 167 KC which is definitely lucky I don't know what the drop rate of it, of it is but it's definitely rarer than that I would think so that's pretty cool I've got 10 pets in total now which is not too bad um, so yeah basically never have to go back to that place again unless I want to get the Bruma Torch. I did get the Warm Gloves before they made them extremely rare. I don't know why they're so rare now, but I think the Bruma Torch is also quite rare and maybe sometime I'll go back and try to get it, but I really don't have any motivation to do it right now anyways. I didn't really have that much fun doing Winter Todd. It just wasn't exactly my thing, but I did get up to 27 mil fire making, so I guess that's decent. And I got I don't know, maybe four or five hundred K wood cutting XP as well. I've also started using Tome of Fire instead of a Steam stat, like Tome of Fire plus um, Mud Battle Staff. You can use imbues if I actually have Astrals. Like you can imbue with the unlimited runes and not have to wear a Steam Staff, which is kind of cool. So I can have unlimited Earth, Water, and Fire runes all at the same time, which is kind of cool. So I use that for farm runs and don't need to use Earth runes anymore. And I guess it would also be good for Astral rune crafting, though you would be missing out on the defense bonuses of a good shield, so I'm not sure if it would be worth it or not. So, yeah, I'm currently at 875 mil total XP, so by the time I get 200 mil, uh, 200 mil smithing in a couple of months, I will be past 1 bill total XP, which is crazy. I wasn't expecting to get it quite so soon, but now that I'm doing a pretty fast skill, it's happening sooner than I was expecting. I was gaining XP very slowly with uh, agility because I was only getting uh, like 23k an hour or so, and then about... 19k magic xp per hour since i'm waiting to turn in all the tickets um so i was figuring it'd probably take me quite a while before i got to one bill but uh, suddenly i just started doing some smithing and i'm enjoying it so yeah i'll be at one bill total xp in a couple of months which would be pretty cool uh farming xp is at 67 mil right now still working on that as well and magic is pretty still at 67 mils actually it looks like my farming just passed my magic which is interesting yeah, that's pretty much the plans for the next while. Um, smithing in a couple of months, and then I probably will go back to agility for a bit until I get in the groove of meleeing on my ultimate, and then maybe I'll try doing some fishing at the same time. I'm not totally sure. It's hard to do anything on the side while doing a click-intensive skill, but I do 
at least right now, we just really want to do fishing, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I can see myself possibly for most of 2017 just working on fishing and agility. Um, but maybe I'll feel like doing other things. I I did have some fun doing room crafting, so maybe sometime I'll get back to that. And I always enjoy like hunter and woodcutting is pretty nice too. Um, I basically just like non viables pretty much. I just have never enjoyed like money making on this game, and I ha yeah I haven't really been playing alts. I was doing some merching here and there with uh, just spare cash, but now that I am doing smithing, I just have all my cash tied up in bars, but. Maybe once I'm done with smithing, I'll get back to some merching again as well, because uh, it was kind of nice and I was bringing in a little bit of money and it wasn't too difficult. You just kind of have to go to the GE a few times a day and that's pretty much it. But yeah, I just felt like making a rambly progress video since it's been a bit since the last one. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, if there's an interesting update tomorrow, I might have back-to-back uh, -back videos. I'm not exactly sure it's coming out, but I think that the superior Slayer encounters are coming out, so that could be pretty interesting. And luckily, with my current university schedule, I don't have any classes on Thursdays. It's my one weekday off, which is perfect for RuneScape, up RuneScape updates. So maybe I'll be streaming. I don't know. I, I do need to do a little bit of Slayer to try to get the totem pieces, because that's one of the completionist things I still need to do, because I don't have the song unlocked. So maybe we'll be trying out some superior Slayer encounters. We'll see. But either way, we are getting a Dust and Mist staff and a basically Vecna skull in old school. So that would be interesting. Uh, you'll be able to boost magic up to plus 10 at 99, so up to 109, which could be interesting for Trident DPS. But yeah, I'm just rambling more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys all soon with more videos and streams.